Okay, now that you have WAMP server installed, you should be able to go to Start, Programs, and see it. There's my folder for WAMP server, and then there's an icon to start the WAMP server up if you need to. It should be all started by default. Now down here in my system tray, this is the little icon for the WAMP server right here, and if you click on it with your left mouse button, you can see that you have here where you can start all the services, meaning start Apache Web Server, start MySQL Server, or stop all the services. So right now I'll just do that. I'll hit stop all services, and then you'll see the icon change here to a red that means it's stopped. Then I can click here and say start all services and then now it will go through some stages here and then it will fire up. Now it's on. Okay, um, right here with the MySQL folder you have access to the MySQL console which is a command line in which you can control MySQL and then also you have a quick way to get to the config file for MySQL. And then um, for um, PHP, you also have uh, quick ways to get to the diff, tells you what version it is, automatically to check the settings of PHP. If you're not sure what this is, that's fine. Uh, Apache, um, also uh, quick ways to do this. And then a couple of handy things is a quick way to get to your root directory for your web server. This is the www directory. And um, you can just click there and it fires it right open for you. And this is your root directory. This is essentially where your web server where your um, web pages would go in your web server. And you can see here it's in the C drive under the WAMP folder or directory and then the www folder. Now what does that mean? Well start my computer C drive right look for WAMP there's WAMP I go into WAMP this is the WAMP uh, program there's the www folder and in there this is where your web pages go. And you can see there's a home page right now called index.php and that is what you see when you type in localhost and you see this. This is what you're getting right there. Uh, your server configuration, this is your um, page. So what I'm going to do to show you just an example is I'm going to open up Notepad, okay, and I'm going to type HTML, and let me do this with a uh, higher font size so you can see it better. Okay, I'll type HTML, uh, open and close um, brackets, and then end HTML, right? This is the basic format of a web page. You need to have your head, header, I mean, it's not going to be beautiful. The end of your header, okay, you have your body tag and the end of your body tag, okay. Inside the header you can put a title and then end title and I can put Dan's home in the title, right? Alright, so hopefully this is making a little sense. There's the head, there's the body, right? And in the body I'll say hello world okay file save as I'm gonna save this into my computer in the C drive in the WAMP folder in the WWW folder and I'm going to name it index.html. Okay, I'll save it in there. All right, now I'll close it. And now, if I go to that www folder, I see I have index.html. I'll take this index.php file and I will put an underscore after the PHP part and type in capital BAK for back for backup. That will disable and gives me a warning. Do you want to do that? You're going to make the file unusable. Yes, I'm changing the file and making it temporarily unusable. Now, index.html should become my home page. So back to the server, localhost, http, colon, forward slash, forward slash, localhost. Just hit refresh, and there's hello world. And then in the title, it says Dan's home. So I've just changed the home page 
of my web server to a little HTML page. And I can actually see this on another computer in my network if I click right here and put my um, computer online. It put online, you should be able to see it from another computer on your network. Okay. Another important tool is this PHP My Admin. We're going to use PHP My Admin to change the root password of MySQL server. Um, and we'll do that in a second, probably in the next video. So PHP Admin. And then here's a quick way to localhost. You'll see I can click on localhost and it'll take me to localhost. Now, I set Firefox for my default browser. So right now when I clicked on PHP My Admin and localhost, it's um, trying to open up Firefox. And it's a little bit slow, but it would happen eventually. You don't have to have Firefox. You can choose Internet Explorer as your default browser. Okay, there it is. And you'll see there's PHP My Admin. This is a administrative tool for working with your database. Um, we'll talk more about it later. And one thing about it is right now the root password for the um, for uh, MySQL is uh, there's no password by default. So you've installed this on your home computer, but there's no root password, which is a security risk. Um, you never want to have uh, empty passwords on a server on your computer, so we're going to have to go in and, and put a password in for the root access to MySQL. Well, what is this PHP My Admin? This, I'll, I'll just talk about it right now. It is a PHP driven interface that interfaces with your MySQL databases. So if you're creating databases in MySQL, you can use PHP My Admin to work with those um, databases. And um, I'm not an expert in it, but it helps to know a few things and how to edit the databases directly sometimes. Okay, um, that's it. We'll talk in the next video.